yeah. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Happy to see me again? Well, I'm just introing, so sorry. My brother Simu is here today, bowling with three bowling balls that are just a step up from my bowling balls last week. These would be considered lower mid performance bowling balls. And what's even better? These three bowling balls are very similar in price. So let's talk about what we got here. On my right side, your left side, we have the 900 Global Burner Pearl. We also have the Storm Electrify Pearl. And finally, we have the Raw Hammer Hybrid. So unlike the last video where all the bowling balls came in various colors, these three actually don't. <laughs> and that being said, these performance bowling balls, the colors are part of the design. So there's no changing colors for whatever you want. Now there are other balls in the same line that have the same name, but the outside of those bowling balls are different. And because of that, they will hook differently. Just like the last video, We'll be judging these balls today on three criteria. Hook potential, predictability, and shelf appeal. Now today we are bowling on an oil pattern that you would typically see at any local bowling center. It's simple, it's easy, there's more oil in the middle of the pattern as opposed to the outside where it's quite dry. Therefore, it will give you the most room for error and multiple balls and multiple lines will work. Let's send it to Simu on the lanes and let's see what he has to say. Hey guys, Simu finally back on the lanes. Today I'm reviewing three balls, three lower mid performance balls. So the three balls I'll be reviewing today, first we have the Raw Hammer Hybrid, then we have the Storm Electrify Pearl, and then lastly we have the 900 Global Burner Pearl. So excited to see how these roll. So if you saw my brother's video last week, you'll see that he threw three entry level balls. So these would just be one step above it. So we're gonna start here with the Raw Hammer Hybrid. Throw it on a line that I'm comfortable with, probably somewhere around the middle of the lane. Woo! So that was a pretty good one there. Wasn't my favorite release, but got the job done. We're bowling on 42 foot carbon today, 10 to one ratio. Pretty similar to something you'd see in a typical house shot. So we struck down the middle of the lane. Let's move right, take up the ball speed a bit, see if this will still strike. Less hand, more ball speed. Right. It's better. So with these house shots here, I'm finding that the outsides are super dry. Because of that, the Raw Hammer Hybrid was having a tough time getting back to the pocket, either hooking too early or not having enough like you saw in that last shot. So definitely so far liking this ball more towards the middle of the lane. I'm gonna try to slow it down, move way left, see if it can make the corner. So I like that ball off my hand. A little bit light into the pocket, but I think I pushed that ball to the limits enough. So let's move on to the Storm Electrify Pearl. So like I said, moving on to the Storm Electrify Pearl here. Gonna do the same thing somewhere towards the middle, somewhere towards the right, somewhere towards the far left. So hopefully this strikes a little bit easier. So good one there. Really liked how controllable this Storm Electrify Pearl is and how hard it really hit those pins. So I'm gonna move right, play a little baby swing and see how this ball does when it hits more friction. Okay, so the right side's not being super kind to me, but you saw in comparison to the raw hammer, the Electrify just might be a little bit too much ball Definitely a lot harder off the spot, came a little bit high. So gonna move left, gonna try to use that sharpness to my advantage, try to make it hook a lot, hopefully crush the pins. Oh yeah. 
So definitely liking that ball when you can give it some hold in the middle, let it get out right and let it turn that corner really hard. So my initial thoughts after throwing the Storm Electrify Pearl, it's great from the middle of the lane, has a little bit of a tougher time on the outside, but really, really good from the inside. Final ball, Global 900 Burner Pearl. Expect this one to hook the most and be the sharpest off the spot. Somewhere down the middle. Good one there. Took it to Lost City by accident. That's okay. Swung it out to the right. The ball read the oil pattern really well. Came screaming back and went flush, so I can't ask for much more. Will the burner be the ball that doesn't make me go Brooklyn on the right side? Let's figure it out. Was able to strike there, which felt great. But as you can see, that ball really, really wants to roll early. So right when I'm throwing it, it's already trying to turn left, trying to start hooking. So maybe not the most ideal look for me on a house shot, just because of the high friction on the outside. But if you have a higher ball speed, if maybe lower revs, might be a perfect look for you. Gonna jump way left with this. I have a really good feeling about this one. That ball's, that ball's good. That burner pearl does everything I want. It gets down the lane super, super easy, but it's still able to make a hard left turn straight into the pins. I like this ball the most. It also hooks the most, so gonna try to jump left, see how far I can go with it. Maybe have a little bit more room. I actually thought that ball was good. So I'm gonna try to move even more left See if I can get it into the pocket. What, in front of the ball return? No chance. Back to the shop. I'm back from the lanes, and boy how shots are hard. Just kidding, but let's talk about how these three balls performed and which ones I liked the best. So first I started here with the black and orange raw hammer hybrid. So there's a couple things that I really liked about this ball. First, it's very controllable. I felt out of the three that I could predict where this was going. I basically knew off my hand whether or not it was a good shot and I could trust that it wouldn't overhook or underhook. So that being said, this ball also had probably the lowest hook potential and it had a little bit of trouble the further I moved left, really turning that corner and going through the pins really well. So then I moved on to this Electrify Pearl from Storm. Right off the bat, first impressions, this ball looks great, it smells great. I think it's frosted cake scent, so that's really, really awesome. The colors really pop down lane, and it really, really suits my eye. So when I looked at the Electrify versus the Raw Hammer Hybrid, this ball here definitely hooked a little bit more, so a higher hook potential. But because of that, I also found it to be a little bit more unpredictable. At the end of the oil pattern, it would really want to make a sharp left turn. And because of that, I wasn't always sure whether or not it would go to the right spot. That being said, if looks are important to you, I really, really like the look of this ball. Finally, I moved on to the Burner Pearl here from 900 Global. And I'll say this right off the bat, Performance-wise, this one was my favorite. So this ball here, not only does it have the most hook potential and gave me the most motion down lane, but more importantly to me, it hooked in the right spot, meaning that it never tried to turn left too early or too late, and it always seems to go through the pins really, really hard. So if you were to tell me to go bowl again for score, definitely taking this ball with me out of the three. So for me, after throwing the three balls today, I can definitely see arguments as to why you would wanna buy each of them. Performance wise, I think this one's the best. It hooks the most, it hooks in the right spot, and it really, really suits my game. And if appearance is important to you, which it definitely is for some, you wanna look into this Electrify Pearl from Storm. The colors really pop, they swirl really well together down lane, and the fragrance can't be beat. In terms of predictability though, if you're still trying to control your rev rate or control your targeting, definitely wanna look into this raw hammer hybrid here. Like I said, off the hand, I really liked how I knew where this one was gonna go. And also, if durability is something you're worried about, this ball also offers a two-year warranty while these ones only have one. So to recap, performance, Burner Pearl from 900 Global, 
Appearance, Electrify Pro from Storm. And for predictability, it's gotta be the Raw Hammer Hybrid. So at the end of the day, when you're looking to get the most value, it really comes down to what you value. Everybody looks for something different in their bowling balls. For me, I strictly look at performance, which is why I really like this one. But for you, you might really want the warranty or the predictability or the colors or the fragrance. It's really up to you. So three really, really great options for you guys here. Lower mid performance balls. If you're looking for a step up to those entry level beginner balls we covered last week. So thank you for watching. Jungo just freaked out. Make sure you check out his website at shop.bufabowling.com. And remember our promo code, Jungle Barks, for 10% off your entire order. Shipping available worldwide. He's got tons of stuff. So make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next vid.